Hello and welcome to r slash dank memes from site 19 where I look at memes from dank memes from site 19. Special thanks to Yasi for compiling the list of memes and also everyone whose meme is included in the video. You can find credit and a link in a paste bin in the description. Let's get started. You're wrong about? Wrong! You dare oppose me, mortal! I get it, I get it. I'm trying to compete with Donald Trump. My, my dad would absolutely love this meme, actually. He hates Donald Trump so much. So the idea that even in a fictional context, I was somehow taking him on. Um, yeah, my dad would love this. That'd be great. I believe the title of this one was uh, Dr. Sumerian Critiques His Own Work, which is a thing I've definitely done before. I think someone even mentioned it in the comments for the, uh, for the Reddit post. In fact... Most of the time now, I don't even bother getting feedback from other people. I just critique my own stuff and decide whether or not it's good enough to post. Because when it comes down to it, I mean, I like to think that after a certain amount of time, you get enough experience to know what's good enough to go on the wiki, at least. I mean, I say this, and I think a lot of people get slightly offended, even if they don't say anything every time I do, but the wiki doesn't have, like, impossibly high-to-achieve standards, so it's like... If it did, then I would definitely still be seeking feedback, but there's a point where you just kind of go, I mean, it's good enough. The fun part is, is that when I do a harsh critique, I'm talking about drafts that are not even close to good enough. So, it's alive! Speak, my child. D-class, get terminated every month. Oh, fuck. I forgot to give you a brain. I'm glad that at least some other people agree with that st how stupid that is to say. Nicholas get terminated every month. Yeah, yeah, let's just kill people. Let's just murder people. That that's great. We could use them for stuff. You know, it would be it would be incredibly useful to keep them around, but no. We're going to murder them. Fucking morons. New researcher. Wow, it sounds like I would die if I encountered a Keter. Foundation worker. Wait till you hear about the Apollyons. New researcher. The what? Except no, you know, there are plenty of Keters out there that you could run into and wouldn't cause you any problems. Like physically, even emotionally or mentally. They just are difficult to contain. Ah. <laughs> uh. I, I, I swear, I know the big problem for this is the fact that the first object class is safe. It, and it makes so much sense. I understand it. It makes so much sense that people look at that and go, oh, if the first object class is safe, then object classes must be about whether it's safe or not. <laughs> Except it's not. It's just a terrible naming convention. <laughs> uh, this one's really tiny, but I, I liked it anyway. Dr. Sumerian explaining philosophies, BTS, and stuff that isn't related to the meme he's reviewing. So I, I like this, although I'm... I have a problem because I don't know. Oh, and also, this meme used the word that twice. And stuff that that. <laughs> it's easy to miss because it starts at one end, a line and ends at the, and begins at the other end. But, uh, yeah. I don't know what BTS is referring to in this case. So, maybe that part's not true. I honestly couldn't tell you. Uh, philosophies and stuff that isn't related to the meme he's reviewing, though, that is, uh, that is accurate. Sometimes I just go off on tangents because, god damn it, I'm allowed to. This is my channel. And also, I love to hear myself talk. I made this one. <laughs> I didn't, it's not actually from Dank Memes. I didn't post it up there. I posted it on my Twitter. How to censor things when no you actually want no one to know what happened. How the SCP Foundation does it. I've, I've used this as a rhetorical device numerous times, I'm like, hey, you know that one picture of Stalin where they edited the guy, the guys out of the photograph and he slowly becomes just him standing on a, standing next to the water? Yeah, like that. The SCP Foundation seems like the kind of organization that would censor things like that, not like a Western democracy does, because they don't want you to know what you don't, they don't want you to know what you can't know. But for some reason, the SCP Foundation, I think it's because most of the writers are from Western democracies, they th they think that's just how censorship is done. No, you, you, you don't want someone to know something's happened. You take out it and all of the context around it. You don't just put a big black box over it and go, well, that's good enough. In a Western democracy, you're allowed to know what you can't know. But in, you know, a authoritarian system, you aren't. 
SCP sounds like demonic worship. God is literally an SCP. Weird Christian relatives and me. I wonder if that really happens. If people like look at it and go like, oh, this is a this is demonic work. I guess everyone's scared about everything. Honestly, there's a lot about this I don't understand, but that's okay. You know, I, I, I often wonder how the SCP Foundation is taken by a lot of uh, ultra-conservative Christian people, because anytime they don't understand something, they just assume that it's evil, right? So, God is literally an SCP. Is he, though? Is he? Just saying, it's all. <laughs> Keter Griffin. <laughs> there's, there's, I, I don't know if it's still on the site, but there's a, a joke article about Peter Griffin already. Object class PETA, I believe was the uh, name of it or something along those lines. <laughs> such a terrible, <laughs> such a terrible photoshopping job. Almost looks like it was done in uh, MS Paint and poorly. Oh well, doesn't matter all that much. <laughs> End of death scenario occurring for the first time. Man, I thought I was dead for sure. <laughs> uh, Bethesda games. How, how things. <laughs> when did? But I want to know at what point Bethesda learned the lesson that they could create a buggy game and people would still enjoy it. I mean, like, because people were really and when Fallout Three came out. I know people were incredibly thankful just to the idea that there was a continuation of the Fallout series. Because, I, I mean, I played Fallout 1 and 2, right? I really enjoyed Fallout 1 and 2. And the idea of just there being a continuation of the series was something that, you know, really, like, stuck with me. And then you get to Fallout New Vegas, which was amazing, but also even more buggy because it was rushed to uh, the finish line. And then you get to, it just goes on and on and on. They just keep releasing buggier and buggier games until it has finally reached its apex with Fallout 76, which had thousands, and I'm not exaggerating the number there, but thousands of game-breaking bugs on launch. And they're just like, what do we care? People will still buy it. I don't know. <laughs> this is that going off on a tangent thing that we were talking about earlier. The end of death. Who cares about end of death? I want to talk about Fallout, goddamn, and Bethesda. And oh man, I actually bought uh, a. I have the old non-special edition version of uh, uh, Skyrim, and I just bought uh, Skyrim VR, and I'm hoping to be able to play it soon. And <laughs> they just decided that they're going to release a new version of Skyrim every like. And then why improve the originals? Just let's re-release it, and people. <laughs> We released a terrible version that's incredibly buggy. Let's re-release it again. This time we'll fix some of the bugs. Not all of them, but some of them. And then we'll release it again. People will just pay for it. And I did. I bought it twice now. I'll probably buy the Alexa edition. <laughs> that's all. All right. Oh, the shark punching center. Look, I... Hmm. My thing is this. First of all, the Shark Punching Center was funny the first time, but I absolutely do not really like, I, I don't get it. Like, you get one Shark Punching Center article and you're like, oh, that's a funny joke, uh, play on the SPC pe mistake people make. And then you see the second one and you're like, okay, well that's interesting. It, like, we're in a post-irony environment now. <laughs> it's, just, it's the point where we're like... It's like the Gamers Against Weed articles that have, they're, they're, those are almost entirely post-ironic because they, <laughs> and SBC is exactly the same thing. You take a thing, you parody that thing once, but if you turn it into a series, it's no longer a parody, it's no longer satire, it's just the thing you were making fun of the first time around. So when you make, like, the l little, <laughs> the Gamers Against Weed little misters, you're parodying the original little mister concept, right? And when you make an SBC article the first time, you're creating a parody of the SCP articles because it based around a common typo, and people can get that joke. Once you go beyond that, I mean, even two or three of them, you're like, okay, yeah, this is still comedy. But then when you just decide, like with the, the Little Misters is probably a better example, but it, but it applies to this too. When you get to the point where you create an entire list of them, it is no longer satire. You are no longer creating satire. <laughs> You're just creating the thing you were satirizing in the first place. <laughs> and 
And sometimes that's fine. Who cares? But I, I, to me personally, it's like it ruins the joke. I it, The fact that there's a series of SPC articles and a whole GOI based around it and a whole alternate universe based around it ruins the funny for me because... And that is the point. Even the ones that take it entirely seriously are taking it entirely seriously, but using an incredibly uh, silly premise at the same time. But it's no longer as funny, because it's no longer a satire. Uh, anyway, I could, I could go on about this problem a lot. And it's, 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 it's a common problem on the SCP Wiki, because when anyone can contribute to something... Anything, like the Little Misters Against Weed, or whatever it was, the uh, Gamers Against Weed Little Mister list. Once that list was created, it was inevitable that people would try to fill it out, without regard for the idea that the whole concept was a parody and satire and wasn't supposed to be filled out in the first place. It's inevitable. You can't control it because you're the one that wrote it, but it's Creative Commons. Anyone else can continue to add to it. So satire dies very quickly on the SCP Wiki, and it kind of... Eh, a bit of a, a bit, a bit, a little bit of a problem for me. I like satire a lot. And the idea that just immediately satire dies on the SCP wiki because that's just how it is. Uh, anyway. <laughs> In the meantime, scroll down just a little bit and hit that subscribe button. And then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified immediately when I upload a new video. And if you'd really like to support this content, head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian. There'll be a link at the end of the video in the end screen and in the description and in the first comment because I am nothing if not a sellout shill. Head on over there and pledge at any level like the people on the screen here have. If you pledge at $5 or above, you get a little credit at the end of my videos like these people. And frankly, I very much appreciate you guys letting me know that I'm not alone out here. I'll see you all again on Thursday.